Hey GearFax friends, today I'm having a bit of a mentally draining time figuring out the loop core by Nux, which is actually supposed to be New Cross apparently, New Arrow Cross, but let's just call it Nux just to keep things simple. Anyway, back to the point, this is a very appealing looper because it has rhythms built in. There are 20 of them to choose from. And if you hold this one down you can get different types. What's also interesting is that it has several stop modes too. I'm hoping that what it can do is just loop through two bars or something like that and without you stopping it'll return to the beginning to restart the loop or to overdub. Its default setting though is the more familiar mode where we start and stop with the pedal. So first of all I'm going to get my levels right by just playing some notes and running the rhythm as well. That's about where I feel comfortable. And because I'm sitting down on the floor giving you this demo, I'm going to operate the pedal with my hand, which means my other hand can only play a one note bass line. So let's try that now. Just rehearsing now. Okay, so I made a bit of a mistake there, but as I was hoping, the loop restart position is determined by the rhythm. And of course, keeping good rhythm is the art to looping, so this one kind of automates that for you. What I did then was allow the loop to go on for longer than I intended, so there's a bit of a blank space there where nothing's getting played. But on the plus side, everything is still flowing to the beat, so if it was a performance, I might be able to wing it and make it seem like that was meant to happen. If I was using a looper with no rhythm, at my level of skill, that would have just sounded like a complete mess of out of time music. Or more so. Anyway, let's try to fill in that gap by going to the dub mode, which is the orange light. First of all, we're just playing. Then we go to dub mode. Kind of sounds reasonably musical. Let's clear everything. Clear comes up when you're in the start mode, which is no lights illuminated. Just hold down your button and that will clear everything. So that was a fail, but what does fail stand for? First attempt in learning, correct. Let's listen to our rhythm again and see if we can make it more timely. So I've deliberately left an open spot there because I want to do a second note and there's a pretty cool undo feature here which I'll show you as well. So let's start playing and go straight to dub mode. Okay, so now we have our complete bass line. Let's move on to some more overdubbing. Now I didn't play that real well, so there's my undo. When I'm in play mode, in other words just the green light on, I can hold down that one and instead of clearing the entire job, all it's going to do is clear the last layer. It's worth mentioning at this point too that if your layers are pretty much set and you're going and flowing, you can take the last layer off and put it back on again as you like during your performance and this can be good for the dynamics of your overall song. Let's try to get that second bit right this time. Nah, no, messed it up again. two taps to stop it. I just feel like there's one more layer I want to add, a nice E minor over the top of that. Back into overdub mode. So 
as simple as that. Sounds pretty terrible to be truthful, but you get the idea. This is a loop pedal that is strongly anchored in its rhythms. And I really think the benefit there is that rather than relying on your own timing, it's digitally forced into a four bar loop or an eight bar loop or whatever you select. I can go ahead and save that loop that I've just created as well. Click again to confirm. One flashes showing that yes, that is saved. And I can actually have a whole range of performances or loops stored here. I think it goes right up to 99. Yep, 99 loops. So if I head back now to number two, I could choose a different rhythm. All right, let's challenge ourselves. Well, that challenge did not go well. I got it wrong in the first millisecond. Let's try again. All right, now we've got something moving. What could I play over that? Yeah, something like that might work. so you can hear me. Accidentally went through twice then, so that little bass line came out much too loud. Simply hold down a button again, it undoes what was just recorded, as you just saw then, and we can have another crack at it. Okay, so again, everything's looping up very nicely. I wonder if we can change rhythms. Okay, well that's pretty cool. We can change our rhythms as the exact same loop is playing. Some of them have a kind of a swing beat which doesn't really work with what you've played, but I guess you'd just make yourself mindful of that if you were planning to switch rhythms during your performance. But yeah, you could be playing live and there's really no reason why you couldn't just stop playing your guitar for a moment, jump down and just change that rhythm by holding down the rhythm key here. Okay, let's try one more with a different rhythm. Nah, no, too serious. Yeah, too classic. Alright, something like that.
too heavy on one of the bass bits there because I played through two bars again, which meant I recorded that particular part over itself, giving it a very chorused, thick and too heavy effect. But that's cool, I think we're getting the idea of how this all falls into place. Before finishing off, I do want to experiment with those rhythms again. If you didn't mind enduring my guitar playing and my slightly dodgy timing, let's take a closer look at the controls. Okay, so this is our control panel and we haven't looked at all of the features, just the basic ones, or to be honest with you, the ones I could work out without looking at the manual. Anyway, this is the volume for the drums and this collared dial here is the volume for the actual loop and that's a really good balanced system. This is our rhythm button over here. As we saw before, you can press that to demo the drum loop. And if you hold it down, you can then press these two arrows to select one of the 20 preset drum loops. Tap tempo is self-explanatory. Save is self-explanatory. And like I said, we've got 99 slots in which we can save our loops. I think this pedal has something like 80 minutes of recording time. It's phenomenal. What is not so instantly self-explanatory though is the stop modes. There are three ways in which you can make the music stop. The default way is just to press that button twice there and it'll just stop instantly. But by pressing stop modes, ST is our default setting, press it again and you can get FN. Now I'm not sure why that's FN but what it means is your music will stop at the end of the bar that's currently playing. You can go through again, and this one's really cool, FA, that means it will fade out. It'll do a 10 second fade out at the end of your song. First loop, let's give it a go and see if it works. Fade out slowly. Two presses to finish. What do you know, it does work. A little bit chunky at the end there. It seemed to drop off quite suddenly, but essentially that's a fade out. Just looking at our sockets here, we've got input for the instrument, obviously. Control in's pretty handy too. You can connect two switch pedals and they will take your patch number up or down, depending which one of them you press. On the other side, it's good to see that we've got a stereo option, left and right out. Not only that, there's a little 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack there, as well as power in, obviously, and USB as well, so we can back up everything that we've recorded. And apart from that mains power, we can also run it on a nine volt battery. And I'm quite pleased to see that too, because to be honest with the amount of processing that this pedal's doing, I would have forgiven it if it couldn't run on a battery at all. Anyway, Gearfax friends, I hope we're all a little bit more familiar with the new Cross Loop Core now, or Nux Loop Core. It's a really cool pedal. I'm not into looping myself, and as you've seen, I'm certainly not good at it. But this is one that I think could really hook me in. I really enjoyed using it. Heaps of memory. I love the fact that it's got rhythms, and I love even more that it can actually anchor you to those rhythms as well. It'd be awesome if you could share this video with other people who are interested in looping. Also, take a moment to check out the new Gearfax website. That's www.gearfax.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Like, comment, or subscribe. See you next time.